And of course, we're a couple days away from Thanksgiving, but lots of holiday travelers already hitting the roads. AAA estimates more than 6 million Californians will travel over the holiday. And KSBY News reporter Brooke Martell is in San Luis Obispo for us this evening with more on who's traveling and how they plan to do that. Brooke? That's right, Dan. Even though gas prices are more expensive than they've been since 2013, we're seeing a lot of drivers, millions of drivers on the road this holiday. If driving this Thanksgiving seems like it's carving more money out of your wallet this year, it's because it is. According to AAA, the current average for a gallon of gas in San Luis Obispo is around $3.31, compared to $2.90 a year ago. In Santa Barbara, this year it's $3.24. Last year it was $2.78. For some, that doesn't matter. I'm one of those typical people just gas and go. I really didn't pay attention. AAA estimates nearly 700,000 people statewide will travel by air this week. Some say for the start of a busy travel week, flying was smooth as silk. It was perfect. There was no delays. Everyone was happy. Everyone seemed in a good mood. No one was grumpy. This year, roads will be crowded more so than last year with 5.37 million drivers. That's no sweat for some. I'm from LA originally. There's no such thing as traffic unless you're in L.A. Before you hit the road, pop the hood, check your brake fluid, oil, antifreeze, and windshield wiper fluids. <laughs> Plus, test the pressure in your tires and make sure you have extra food and water for emergencies. More often than not, when I help people on the side of the freeway on a, on a flat tire, I help them with their spare tire and their spare tire is flat too. So you'll want the right tools to change it. CHP officers are reminding drivers and passengers of alarming data from last year's holiday. Last year's statistics show during this time period that 27 people died in a fatal traffic collision. Out of those 27 people that passed away, 14 of them were not wearing their seatbelt. As mentioned, there will be full enforcement of CHP officers looking for impaired drivers. So this is another reminder to not drink and drive. And if you've had too much to drink, to call a taxi or an Uber. Reporting live and local in San Luis Obispo, I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. Some good reminders there. Thank you for that, Brooke. And by the way, CHP officers say they see lots of tailgating this time of the year. They remind you to, that uh, slower traffic should stay to the right and that uh, you'll want to leave plenty of space in front of you to prevent collisions.